this movie review on the internet today. The A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth. And today I'm here with a review of a movie that came into theaters, oh, about a month ago. I guess it's time I get on that, right? Um, this is a movie that I wasn't exactly going out to ride in the streets for, uh, but I figured I'd see it sooner or later. Well, that time has come, because my review of the 2018 horror prequel, The First Purge, coming up now. Taking place sometime in the near future, the government run by the political party of the new founding fathers attempts an experiment known as the Purge, where illegal activity, which includes murder, is legal for a 12-hour period. This time we follow a young man working the streets as a drug dealer, his sister, and his boss as the first purge commences. So what did I think of the first purge? I thought it's a mediocre horror action prequel. While the series has had some highs and lows over the first three films, this one is probably my least favorite of the series. A prequel to The Purge might seem like a good idea, and while the film shows a couple of things we didn't necessarily know about how it started, I don't know if a whole movie is really that necessary. The film actually has the same exact structure as the other Purge movies. We meet the characters we'll be following, get a little bit of background, and then The Purge begins. There were a couple different things going on. For the experiment, uh, it's only on Staten Island to see if people actually would purge and see those interested in participating wearing special contact lenses basically to use as cameras so officials can watch what's going on. Once we get into the event though, it's a lot more of the same. People running from the tormentors, attending parties, setting traps in the streets, discovering government conspiracies, it's all kind of old hat by now. Like the others, the film takes a stab at social and political commentary with the government targeting minorities and lower income citizens, but this time it's extremely obvious and heavy handed. The film itself looks cheaply made and not up to par with the others, including some bad special effects, shots that make it kind of hard to see what's going on during fights, and overall just feels like a cheap cash in that should have been a straight to DVD release. There's also a lot of things going on here, and it becomes hard to get into when the focus of the film keeps changing every few minutes. As far as the scares or action go, there's nothing really scary at all, and the action isn't really all that exciting, and has been done better before. One of the biggest problems is that the characters we follow aren't all that interesting, with an odd choice of a drug dealer being the hero. It's kind of hard to get behind the characters, and could have benefited from a known actor or two being casted. There's also a very over-the-top villain who feels like he wandered off the set of a slasher flick, who looks like he'll be a main part of the film, but just disappears after a while and pops up when it's convenient. The cast stars Yelan Noel as Dimitri, the drug dealer that gets stuck in the middle of the purge, Jovian Wave as Isaiah, Dimitri's young employee who thinks of purging to get revenge on someone, Lex Scott Davis as Naya, Isaiah's older sister who finds herself outside trying to protect him, and Marissa Tomei as Dr. May Updale slash The Architect, that's right, she's playing Seth Rollins, one of the officials who came up with the idea for the event. The first Purge might have had a couple of worthwhile moments here or there for series completists, but it's really just more of the same. I'm going to give it the rating of... Meh. You know, it's okay. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West A List. Until next time, Troop out. <laughs>